If you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to DVDJ.com. Use code BIO2K for 10% off your final order. Before we get into today's video, again, I just want to remind you guys to make sure that you guys are logging in and getting your free Dwayne Wade Spotlight Pack. Obviously, in this pack, you know, the best thing you can really pull is like an Amethyst Carmelo Anthony or um, Tim Duncan, I believe, was the other one, I want to say. I think it was Tim Duncan. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys log in and get this free pack. Obviously, open up and you can get whatever. Um, we're going to probably get an Emerald here. And, uh, okay, we get an Emerald and a Gold player. Not too bad. I'm going to quick sell it because it doesn't really matter, but still free players. What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today I'm going to bring you guys a video on how to run a 2-3 zone in NBA 2K20 my team. Now you guys have been asking for this video for a while and like I said I wanted to wait to make this video until they made it so you can actually break zones the proper way. Um, and yeah it's very easy to break them as well. I'm actually going to cover how to break them at the same time. So, uh, yeah, this is the team that we're going to be using. The only actual sub I'm going to make is taking AD out and putting in, like, Chris Webber. Um, just because why not? I don't really like the AD when he's not on fire. So, this is going to be a team, pretty basic team, nothing too, too crazy. Um, like I said, if I wanted to, I could buy KD and LeBron and whatnot. But there's really no point. So, this is going to be the team that I'm going to be rocking with. Um, you don't need any specific players to run the zone. You don't need any specific playbook, coach, nothing like that. All you need is players that you are comfortable with and whatnot, and I will show you guys um, what to do. The best thing that I do, I would recommend at least, is actually have a taller point guard like Shy Gilgis, like Magic, like Kobe White, um, just guys like that. Um, Kobe White's 6'5", Shy Gilgis like 6'6", and Magic's like 6'9". So make sure that you guys, you know, have at least a little bit of a taller point guard. Um, and then all you really want is to make sure that um, ideally too that they have the interceptor badge. Because when they have that, it'll actually help you pick passes out of the air. I don't even know if JR has it. Um, he does not. So, that's what I'm saying. It really doesn't matter. You don't really need it. It is very helpful, though, if they do have it. Um, but, yeah, you don't need it. It's nothing too, too crazy. So, this is going to be the team that we're rocking with. Um, and, yeah, let's hop into this video and show you guys how to run a 2-3 zone. All right, we're going to actually be playing one of my friends today. My boy's name is Yayi, as in Yaji. The link to his channel is going to be down low in the description. The reason why I'm going to be playing him is so I can go in a little bit more depth and talk to you guys about how to run the actual zone. And also, um, you know, he's a good YouTuber. He kind of stopped posting for a while, but he's going to start again because I'm going to be on his ass making sure he's on that grind. So, uh, yeah, be sure to go check out his channel. He's actually got some pretty good content. So, like I said, be sure to check it out. Um, you don't need to do anything in this screen, obviously. Um, there's not even really defensive settings to this. It's literally just all in-game stuff. Um, I'm still going to show you guys, though, what I do as far as defensive settings, just in case you guys have any, you know, questions about what I do. I mean, I have a video on the defensive settings that I normally would use if I was to use them. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys some basic, you know, defensive settings that I do before the game. And, um, yeah, that's really it. So, I'm just going to spam pause real quick. And uh, yeah, just gonna come to defensive settings. I put this on tight and then I put this on deny ball and that is really it. The only other thing I guess for a zone is put this on force direction middle because what that'll actually do is force you into, uh, or force your opponent into running into other players, giving you a lot more bump steals. All right, so here's what you guys wanna do. Right away, I'm gonna let him win the tip off, hopefully. I was gonna say, instantly you're gonna go into a two, three zone here. What you want to do is set this on no threes, and then you're going to want to put this on wall up. When you do this, all you want to do is make sure that you're pretty much covering the rotations. Now, my guy Yaji does not know how to break a zone. I told him that, or he does, but he doesn't. He basically told me that he knows how to, but it's just not as good as it could be. So, I basically told him just to try and break it. I don't know why, bro. There's a lot of latency going on right here and a lot of forced animations. It's a little weird, but either way, that's all you want to do. You could put this on play physical as well. What that'll do is actually give you a lot more bump turnovers and whatnot. But right there, that is why, one, having Interceptor actually helps a lot. But that pass right there is what a lot of players will do. And I told him before this game, you guys can believe me or not believe me, whatever. I told him, I said, hey, when you're trying to break the zone, you know, try to break it in the way that you think is right. And that's literally just the way that you run it. You guys can see how I knew that he was going to kick it right there and try to take that shot. That is why I closed out with my center. All it really is in a 2-3 is when people see somebody running a zone, their first reaction is to try and um, shoot the ball. And they think that that's actually how you're going to break a zone. I'm actually going to show you guys, like I said in this video, how to break zones as well. You cannot leave JR that wide open, bud. You can't do it. 
But yeah, this is what you guys want to do. Like I said, you want to just make sure it stays there. And when the side that they're dribbling up, you want to switch over to the other side because this kind of prevents any dumb rotations. You want to bump them a little bit. Like again, he's shooting that shot. That was 24% contested. I feel like it should have been a little bit more, but we're still closing out on that shot. And I put this on Superstar. It's the same difficulty as Unlimited. Um, like I said, all you really want to do is when you're running a zone, you just want to cover the other side of the ball. Like, if they're on the left, you want to be on the right side. That's a bad shot on me right there. Um, I was going to say, that's a corner pass. That's on me. He's got the meter off, too. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so basically that's all it really is, is um, just staying on the opposite side of where your opponent is. So, again, we're going to click back to a 2-3. We're going to watch this corner here just because you want to make sure you're fixing the corners, too. On a 2-3, the, the vulnerable spot is right at the top of the key. See, right there, we're forcing him in the middle, which is actually going to cause that to be a, um, which is actually going to cause that to be a bump turnover most of the time. You see how we're, like, constantly bumping him? And the thing with zones is it's actually kind of annoying is they actually cause a lot of delay. See, that's too deep of a shot right there. I'm not worried about that. We're switching back to magic. We're going to prevent that from happening right here. We're going to go back. We're fixing every rotation ourselves. There we go. It's going to go to the corner. That's on me. That's the only part with the zone, too, that's going to kind of suck is that the corners will be left wide open if somebody drives in. Now, that's going to be a part of how to break a zone that I'm going to show you guys later. However, that's not like, you know, the end of the world. It's very easy to actually fix that problem. Good defense on his part. We're just going to post up real quick because, you know, Ibaka's a god in the post. Easy let. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, we're going to fix this rotation, though, to the corner. I don't know where JR is, though, but look. Perfect. Right there, we're closing out. When you are in a zone see right there i switched to my power forward and i tried to um run out to the corner the only problem is you're still playing 2k and you have to remember that when you're playing 2k and you're in a zone or whatever you're in um the game is basically going to force you into animations that you don't want to be in and stuff like that so you're gonna have to play around that a little bit that's gonna go to the corner right there i read that pass perfectly he's gonna shoot that still contested though let's go good defense um, but yeah, like I said, it's actually, it's, it's still 2k, you know, no matter what you do, it's still 2k. Like that was a basic pass. Same thing with that. You know, they're just going to put you in animations that you can't really control. So you're just going to have to get around it. I mean, seriously, like this is wow. Like, okay. We went on some random little freaking momentum wave of just crap. Not even like with Yaji, just like the whole game in general. So again, this is what you want to do. You want to uh, like, honestly to identify who he has on the perimeter. He's going to make that skip pass. That was a good pass right there. But we're not worried about that. He's going to kick this right here. We were there for that. He's going to kick it right back. Again, that's a little deep, and he's going to miss that. That's the thing with zones, too, is that if, you're, like, if your opponent's players are a little too far back, you're going to be killing people with zones. And honestly, if you guys do the budget method that I talked about in the, um, my How to Go 12 and 0 video with budget players, like the best thing about that is, you know, these players, they have like, you know, Hall of Fame range extender and stuff like that. Like JR is going to be knocking down this shot nine times out of 10. You know, KD is going to be knocking down that shot, stuff like that. So, honestly, you can't really be too worried about, like, you know, Rubies and Amethyst even hitting those deep threes. And right there, like, Durant missed that. So, honestly, what you want to do is you want to force your opponent to make that skip pass. Because when he does make that skip pass, it's going to be a deep three that doesn't result in anything, you know, anything too, too good. Um, I did tell Yaji to run a 2-3 zone in the second quarter. And that's going to be a part of, like, me showing you guys how to break it. There we go. Easy wide open shot. There we go, JR. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Um, but yeah, so the whole point about a 2-3 zone when you're running it is you basically are just fixing rotations like the whole time. It's hard for me to show you guys, you know, like what to do every possession and just talk through what I'm doing. That's why it may seem a little bit flustered. And that's why I told you guys last year when I tried to make this video is it's hard because like it's not... I can't just be like, oh, you, you know, you stand on one side, let the other person do all the work on the other side. And then when they switch, you just switch yourself. You're, you got to constantly be moving. You got to constantly be fixing rotations. And honestly, when somebody drives in, you want to switch to, you know, your power forward or, you know, whoever. So I told him to switch to a zone. He's going to be in a zone here. This is honestly how you want to do it. You're going to call for your big man. Who's going to come right around here and you're going to just post up and go right down the middle here. When you do that, you're going to get wide open with a couple people here. That was just bad rotations again on me. We're going to knock down that three anyway with JR, but it's very easy. What you want to do is seriously like switch into. I hate that. I hate that somebody can just rim run at you and it literally just lets them just whoop right by. Like I'm still a person, 
But anyway, you're going to go to a 4 out 1 in. That's actually the thing I forgot to do. And that's when you're going to switch to this, right? So when you do this, you can just run right in. And you're going to get either foul calls like that. Or you're actually going to get posters, stuff like that. Easy dunks at the rim. Um, George Merson, the Sapphire, is one of the best cards for this. Like, literally, all you got to do is just post up and just slowly back down. Whether you're backing down somebody or not, you literally just back down. And what happens is the zone actually, like, kind of... It'll either collapse and end up leaving somebody, you know, it'll collapse and end up leaving somebody um, wide open on the three, or what'll actually end up happening is it will um, just kind of expand and leave you wide open in the paint. So either way, you're getting wide open buckets. So again, what you guys could do as well is just post up and like, you know, post up one of the guards regardless of who's up there. Because when you do that, again, it causes rotations to fix. And there you go. You're wide open again. Now, Honestly, it's really up to 2K to uh, let you make your shots or not. He's going to step that back. Okay, yeah, he, I see you, bro. He's just going to step that back like it's nothing. This is where magic kind of comes into play here because when you uh, when you have magic, you can call for him to come up at the top, you know. There we go. And what you're going to do is you're just going to post up them smaller guards because when you do this, again, you're going to kick it right back out and you're going to get wide open every single time. So it's very easy ways to break zone, stuff like that. Um and it's, it's very easy to break them in this game too like that's why like it was really important for me to make this video after they fixed it because before you would just be missing wide open shots see right here like again he's gonna kick this to paul george i'm all over that pass see right here he's gonna look to kick it to the corner i'm right here we're swarming him now it's gonna go to the corner again bad shot right there you know because honestly what it is is when either even when you expect him to kick it to the corner as long as you're still standing in front of him you're still gonna get that contest that's gonna actually lead to you know a miss a long rebound which will lead to transition buckets and that's most of the time what it is so again you're just gonna want to be in a zone here he's gonna kick it right over here i'm not worried about Pau gasol shooting that three like that's like the thing that you guys gotta remember too is you gotta pick your battles here like i'm not worried about Pau gasol shooting that right here we're clamping that up completely you just constantly want to be clicking on to who is the on ball defender fixing the rotation and then hopping off to go fix somebody else because that's how you run a zone you have to fix every rotation that happens in it but once you get it down, once you practice it, it's so easy to just clamp up everybody. And it's very nice. So you guys know, that's what I do. Like right here, we have all the momentum. That's why JR just got that steal. And you guys can see, we have a nice 15-point lead now. It just kind of happens. Like I can guarantee you if this was an unlimited game, my boy Yayi would have quit by now. Like it's literally just as simple as this. He's going to try to make the skip pass. He can't do much because we're clamping up constantly. Right there, he tried to run a play to break it. We're still in his face. You just have to fix the rotation. So... If you guys are watching this video and you guys are like, oh, you know, like it didn't work for me, it takes time to practice. You can't you can't run this one game and expect, you know, just to listen to me and be like, oh, it works. You have to be able to get better with fixing rotations yourself, you know, constantly clamping up very early 52 percent. You love to see it. But yeah, we're holding him to 32 percent shooting. I mean, it's literally as simple as that. Um, I'll show you guys one more time too. To break a zone, you just post up one of the top guys. And when you do that, you're going to be constantly left open with a, whether it's a corner, whether it's the top of the key, regardless, you're just going to be left wide open. And that is the result of basically everything. Even when people try to play fast on you, they will end up making bad passes. Like right there, that's a good bump steal. We're right there for that pass. Again, we're going to run this down. We're going to snatch this back with JR. Pull it in his face, green, bean, and pause it on him real quick. But, yeah, that's going to do it, though. I'm not going to sit here and play through the rest of this game just because, like, obviously it's a friendly anyway. Um, but, yeah, that's basically it. 32% shooting that he shot. I mean, I showed you guys how to break it. You just post up the top of the key and, you know, you'll kick it to the corner. You got to be careful because sometimes your opponent will learn how to break that. So what you want to do is actually drop step. Every time you go in the paint, just drop step because when you do that, they'll try to rotate down. You can either get an and one dunk, kick it to the corner for a wide open three, regardless it you know it works so i hope this video helped you guys out a lot um be sure to hit that like button if it did um let me know any you know questions or anything you guys have in the comments i'll be sure to help you guys out let you guys know you know different adjustments stuff like that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy um be sure to subscribe if you guys are new and with that being said i'll see you in the next video